Hey my lovelies, it's your girl True TTJ and I am back with another story time video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining the family. Thank you for joining the tribe. And if you already been here, you already know what's up. Hey, I miss you guys. Welcome back. Okay, so y'all already seen the title. So this is another story time. And I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this story time because it's, it's it probably be a little lengthy, so I don't want to go too much, make this too long of a video, but I just want to give you guys as much detail as I can. Okay. So this story time happened when I was in high school. I had to be like in the ninth grade or whatever like that, ninth or 10th grade. And this girl, she was probably like in the 11th or 12th grade or whatever like that. So um, if y'all don't know, but I have nieces and nephews that are around my age. So I kind of grew up with them. Um, and this particular time, one of my nieces, she used to play on the basketball team at this high school. I went to another, I went to a totally different high school, um, than my nieces and nephews. And that's another story time that I'm not going to say right now. So I went to a totally different high school or whatever like that. And my niece went to one high school. I went to another high school. Okay. So my niece played on the basketball team at this high school. And you know, when you're on a basketball team and you already somewhat of a tomboyish, that's when like the studs start to form in some girls, you know what I'm saying? Like in like in elementary school and middle school, you still got like what dresses and skirts and shit like that. But when you get into high school, it's like, okay, I can do whatever I want to wear. I can wear basketball shorts, shirts and stuff like that. And that's kind of like how some studs form into like a stud. If they already won the stud, when they was younger, they definitely was forming into a stud when they reached high school. So, but my niece, she's not gay, she's straight. So, she played on the basketball with this particular girl. And when I was in high school, I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. Like, I had, like, a lot of crushes. Like, I was crushing on a lot of people. Like, it was just, like, an ice cream shop for me. Like, I wanted to taste all the motherfucking flavors, even the coffee ones. That's nasty as fuck, but I wanted to taste it. Anyways, so my niece played on the basketball team with this girl. We're going to give this girl a name. We're going to call her Aaliyah because I remember that she could sing and or whatever like that. And I think that was like one of the reasons that actually attracted to me, me to her is because she could sing. So I liked it about her. So, um, okay. So I'm in ninth grade. She in like the 11th grade or whatever like that. So my niece had a basketball game and I've seen this girl previously play basketball with my niece or whatever like that. But I was just like, she ain't gonna wanna talk to me. You know, I'm young or whatever like that. So I just started, you know, scoping her from a distance. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, just looking at her for a distance. So by the time my 10th grade year rolled around, I finally had the courage to like, you know, tell Aaliyah that I wanted to like, you know, talk to her or whatever like that. But I didn't really go up to her and talk to her. I sent my friend up to her. Well, I'm just going to tell you. So one day my niece, she had a uh, basketball game. And I was in the 10th grade by the time she was in the 12th. Um, she had a basketball game and I came to it. And I was with my homegirl. What homegirl I was with, I don't know. But she is not relevant in the story. So I was with my homegirl, whatever like that. And I saw a girl, Aaliyah. I was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like, oh, that's her, that's her. Like, no, I've been crushing on this bitch for like a year. So it was just like, baby, it's now or never because this whole probably about to go off to college next year or whatever like that. And I probably ain't even going to see her no more. So it, this is really now or never. So we watched the game, of course, me and my homegirl. We're watching, we're watching, we're watching, we're watching. And then the game like ended or whatever like that. And old girl, Aaliyah, she was like standing at the bottom of the bleachers, you know, on the court because she just got to finish playing a basketball game. So I had told my partner, I was like, gone over there and get that girl number for me or whatever like that or tell that girl that she, that, you know what I'm saying, I want to talk to her. Like, you know, figure out a way to bring her up to me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was trying to say. Figure out a way to bring her up to me. So my friend, she went down there or whatever like that. Y'all know when y'all in high school and y'all see y'all friends to go talk to somebody that you talk to, baby, you be over there and be like, you be like, you be trying to look out cute like, like that's how I was. I was just like I know that I sent my friend down there to go talk to this chick so why am I acting out shy or whatever like that but that was me I was shy yeah that was me so I see my friend talking to the girl I see my friend talking to Aaliyah or whatever like that and then all of a sudden a girl came up the bleachers or whatever like that and she said something to me I can't remember what she said but she said something to me and we started like talking or whatever like that chit chat back and forth and then um she, we exchange numbers or whatever like that. So we exchange numbers. We talking on the phone. We texting or whatever like that. I remember that day after they basketball game, like, oh girl, Aaliyah, she was trying to tell me to like come out with her and her friends. I think they had won that game and it was like, you know, going out or whatever like that. And I was just like, uh-uh, my mama had me on a streak leash, baby, a, a tight leash. You feel me? Like I wasn't about to, I wasn't about to run out this house. I wasn't about to 
to sneak out or nothing like that. N not for you. I just met you. I don't know who you are, baby. I ain't in love. So I was just like, I remember telling her that I could not leave. I was like, I, no, that wasn't going to happen. So, you know, throughout time, like, we would try to, like, find ways to, like, meet up with each other. And it wasn't that hard because my niece would go to the same high school that she did. So, and she was a part of the basketball team. And my niece hung, hung around a couple of girls that played basketball. You know what I'm saying? Including her. So, it was just, like, it wasn't that hard for me to, like, find time to hang around or whatever like that. It was just hard for me because my niece didn't want me to hang around with her and her friends. Like, she was a little bitch about that shit. But, whatever. So, one day... We talking on the phone, me and the girl, Leah. <clears throat> she was just like, I want you to come to my house or whatever like that to spend a night. Now, my mom, she'll let me spend a night at people's house, but she was the type of mama where she has to talk to the mama first. She has to talk to your mama first. She has to meet your mama. You know what I'm saying? She she, she got to do her investigation before she just be like, okay, that's cool. So, like, a couple days before I was going to go spend night at her house, you know, I told my mama, I was like, you know, mama, uh, my friend Leah, she want me to come spend at her house or whatever like that. And, of course, my mom just gave me, like, that whole rundown. Like, who was Aaliyah? Where's she from? Where'd you meet her? Where did da 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 And so, you know, I told her whatever like that. And, of course, one of the rules is she got to talk to the mama. So I had to call Aaliyah on the phone and let her get a phone to her mama and talk to her mama or whatever like that for me to come over there or whatever like that. So that ended up happening. Mama gave me the green light. Cool. So the day comes for me to go over Aaliyah's house. So <clears throat> I'm packing my clothes because I'm thinking I'm going to stay the weekend or whatever like that because I couldn't spend out nobody's house on a weekday because I have to go to school. It was only on the weekend. So I'm packing my clothes to get ready to go spend night at Aaliyah at her house or whatever like that. No. When I was in high school, you guys, when I was in high school, I wasn't sexually active with women. I was more so sexually active with boys. I'm saying I was, I was, I was, a, I was a receiver, not a giver. You know what I'm talking about? So when it comes to women in high school, so, or whatever like that. So I'm packing up my clothes. We on our way, my mom, we on our way to drive to Aaliyah house or whatever like that. So, no, I have never been to Aaliyah house. Even though we was talking on the phone for like a, like a, probably like a couple of weeks or so before I actually been to her house, I have met her a couple of times in person after that basketball game. But I have never, ever been to her house and she has never, ever been to my house. So this was like a one time, well, no, not a one time, but this was like a brand new experience for me or whatever. So we get to, um, Aaliyah house or whatever like that. Oh, no, no, no. Rewind. So, I told Aaliyah, I made sure I told her, I was like, make sure when you come outside to meet my mama, you have on a dress or you have on some kind of girly shirt, you have on some jeans and like a girly shirt or some, some coochie cutter shorts or something like that. I was like, don't come out here looking like no little boy. Don't come out here looking like no no little stud or whatever like that. So she was like, oh, okay, cool. So when we get, so when my mama, we get to um, a little house or whatever like that, this girl come out here with some SpongeBob uh, pajama pants on and like a white, like a, like a muscle shirt type thing with like a white shirt on top of it or whatever like that. <clears throat> and she walked outside with her mama. I remember this day so vividly because when I saw her in that SpongeBob shit, I was just like, what the fuck? I told this bitch to put on a motherfucking dress or a skirt or something like this. Like, girl, act like you know. But, you know, whatever. She did it. So, my mama and her mama, they got to talking or whatever like that. They was, like, chopping it up, um, making each other feel comfortable or whatever like that. And so, me and Aaliyah, we just standing outside. We just talking or whatever like that. And then, finally, my mama was just like, all right, tell Sean about to go or whatever. So, I go over there, hug mama, kiss her mama, let her go. Boom. So, when I went, when I'm looking at a little house, it looked like a normal house. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't look raggedy. It didn't look run down. It didn't look like, like none of that. But no, I was young. So, you know, I, I didn't know back then what I know now. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't asking the proper questions and I wasn't taking the time out to drive over there and like really scope out her, her crib. You know what I'm talking about? So it, uh, I wasn't even thinking about that type of thing. Like that wasn't even, I wasn't even on that type of time. You feel me? So whatever. Boom. We at a house, we walk into the door, me, her, and mama. We get up in the house, the living room look normal, kitchen look normal, everything just looked normal. I was like, okay, cool. So I started to feel a little bit comfortable, you know what I'm saying? I already knew that night that we was gonna like mess around and do some shit like that, or whatever like that. Well, I knew she was gonna do some shit to me, but you know, whatever. So 
I'm thinking <clears throat> when we get up in our house, like we're going to go down the hallway. I remember it was like you go up in the living room. I mean, go up to the front door, living room, kitchen, hallway. So I remember like we was going to, I thought we was going to like go down the hallway or something like that, like go to the hallway. But instead we went right. And I was just like, oh, okay. Well, maybe she, her room is on this side. You know, the other room's on that side. You know, maybe it's like one of them type of houses. I was like, okay, cool. So we go to the right or whatever like that. And we go into like this area that looked like it used to be a garage, but it had carpet. Yeah, carpet. So I was like, okay, the carpet was gray and it was like dark in there. So you, I really couldn't, I really didn't, it, it, you get it, you got it. So yeah, so we go up and out immediately, it smelled like weed. It smelled like weed, it smelled like cigarettes. She had like three boys in there. They was all in there playing basketball, I mean basketball. They was all in there playing the video games or whatever like that. And I was just like, okay, this is weird. By this time it had to be like, probably like 7, 7.30 at night, 8 o'clock. It wasn't that damn late. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm sitting on a chair that was like by a door that was like broken. You know, it looked like somebody had kicked the door in or whatever like that. Like the door wasn't on the hinges, but the door was set up to where it was like blocking your entrance into whatever that was or whatever. So I'm just sitting on the chair, whatever like that. I'm watching the boys or uh, whatever playing basketball. Basketball, why am I saying basketball? They was playing video games. Okay, I'm sitting there on the chair. I'm watching them play video games. I'm watching her play video games. They started smoking weed. At this time, I really didn't smoke weed like that. Well, I smoked it, but I just didn't smoke it around people that I didn't know because I know how I was when I was like under influence. So I didn't really just like, like to smoke it around people. And I damn sure didn't like to smoke around a whole bunch of boys. It's like, come on, for real? Like, I just met you too. Like, I ain't gonna get fucking wasted in front of y'all. I don't know what the fuck, what kind of time y'all on. So I wasn't that damn naive, but I was naive. So I'm just sitting there, whatever like that. So like, come like 10 o'clock, probably like 9.30. She was just like, oh, okay, y'all gotta go. It's time for y'all to get up out of here, whatever like that. I, look, I'm just sitting down like that, or whatever like that. They turn on the lights and I noticed well, the boy was sitting on like this. One of the boys was sitting on like a little dresser, like a little nightstand type thing. He was sitting on that. When I tell y'all he picked that damn nightstand up, I guess the nightstand been there forever. And he just thought it was like odd because it was like not in the middle of the floor, but kind of like far away from the wall. So he decided to put it back against the wall. When I tell you that that carpet underneath that, that nightstand was white, I was just like, what the fuck? I thought the carpet was gray. I was so confused. I was so confused. But then it dawned on me like... They were smoking weed, they were smoking cigarettes, but I don't remember seeing no ashtray. Okay, whatever. Cool. So at this time, you know, I'm already feeling uncomfortable. Cause my mama, she she was she was kinda like a little clean freak. Like my mama, she didn't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was I didn't I didn't I, I mean she didn't play that shit. So I'm just sitting there like, oh wow. And I'm just staring at this little white patch in the carpet and gray just around it. So I was just like, okay, cool, whatever. So she was just like, you wanna take a bath? You wanna take a shower? I was just like, yeah, that's cool. I'll take a shower or whatever like that. And um, so she was like, all right. So she proceeded to go into the room where I told you I had the little slanted door, like it went on the hinges. It was just like placed there. She moved that out the way. The restroom looked like it was under construction. I was just like, like it had no wall. It was just straight sheet rock. And it had no faucet. You had to use the pliers. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not no. I, I'm not from the hood. I'm not. I didn't grow up poor, but I didn't grow up rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had the bare essentials. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had things that we supposed to have. Like, yes, yeah, sometimes you know the the tub broke and we had to use the wrench to turn on the water, the cold to hot. That's cool. But we, it still looked like a restroom. You know what I'm saying? It, the restroom was, her restroom looked like it was under construction. So, and another thing was, I remember I couldn't take no shower. I had to literally like bathe, you know, like take a whole bath in the tub, like turn a little faucet on and then just like kind of splash the water on you and like bathe like that. So that's how I bathe. I took a shower, just a little quick shower or whatever like that. But I was just like, you know, I ain't really tripping. I already took a shower before I came, you know, like, I was just the type of person back in them days, like I had to take like two or three showers a day. Like that's just how I was. Like I was, I, I, I wasn't dirty. I just felt cleaner when I take like two or three showers. 
So I had, so I didn't care that I could take a full shower. So I just took like a little wipe off or whatever like that. So she get up in the shower after that or whatever like that. And I'm sitting on the chair again. So I'm just waiting on her to get out and watch the TV or whatever like that. And she was just like, oh, we can lay in the bed or whatever. So I was just like, okay, cool. <sighs> Girl, when I girl, we laid in that bed, baby, baby, we laid in that bed. When I tell you that them sheets smell like hot ass, hot mercy coochie, gorilla piss. I don't fuck it. That them sheets smell so freaking bad. It smelled like a bunch of dogs pissed and shitted on these sheets and ran away. And then she just left the blanket on the floor, let it dry, and then she just put it on the bed. Like, that's just, it, it, it was like a, you know, I'm, it was so fucking nasty. And I was trying so hard to keep my shit together, but I just could not keep my shit together. Next thing you know, me and her, we started arguing. I just blow up. Like, girl, how the fuck you gonna have me in this stanky ass bed? And you knew that I was coming over here. Damn, you didn't even have the decency to vacuum clean the motherfucking floor. Bitch, I know I'm in high school. I know it. But I'm not no dirty ass bitch. Like, I'm not no dirty ass hoe like this. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, no. Uh-uh. I'm not feeling in this bed. Baby, y'all, when I tell you her, she stayed so bad. And she she was apologetic. I remember her being apolog like apologizing or whatever like that. And then another thing that was like pissing me off about her also, like I knew she could sing, but she sung all the time. Like I, I literally remember being over there and the entire time I was over there with her, she was singing. But I should have known that was going to happen because she used to sing a lot on the phone or whatever like that. Like she wanted to be like a recording artist or whatever like that. I don't know if she is one now. Hopefully she is. You know, I don't wish no bad stuff on nobody. She Hopefully she's a recording artist, but she used to sing all the time. So I don't even know, I don't even know why I thought it was going to be differently when I move i mean move when i come over there to visit her or whatever like that but baby that's besides the point that's besides the point what's the what's the what's the point i'm trying to make right now is them damn she stank them damn she stank and she had me fucked up to think that i was gonna lay up in this stanky ass bed baby i must have pulled out my phone mama come pick me up come pick me up my mom like it's like 11 o'clock at mama come pick me up all right mama on her way baby room I packed my stuff up, baby. I put on my clothes. And the girl was just like, you ain't got to leave. You ain't got to leave. I was like, yes. I was like, I just cannot. I cannot sleep in your bed. So I got to leave. Girl, I didn't even wait till my mama get there. I was like on the curb. Like I, I walked out of the house and I was like outside in the driveway down the street a little bit. Like that's that's how close I was. Even I got in trouble for doing that by my mama, of course. But you know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't even do it. Baby, as soon as I got up in that court. As soon as I got up in that car with my mama, baby, I had to tell her, like, girl, I had to, I had to just leave. Her room was stinky, mama. Her bed smelled like dogs. And I was just like, girl, I have to leave. I had to leave. I was like, thank you so much, big man. I was like, I just couldn't stay over there. It was, it was just disgusting. It was nasty. It was nasty. She probably had roaches. I'm glad I ate before I came over there because she that food probably was like nasty. Even though the, the, the other part of the house looked decent or whatever like that, but you can't be sure. You know, people, some people be nasty and they can know, they know how to wipe down the fucking counter. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. Long story short, baby, that was the last time I ever spoke to that girl. Like, after that, it was like, I'm not answering no phone calls. I'm not answering no text messages. I'm not coming over there to chill with you. I understand you apologize. I get that, but I can't even take you seriously. I can't even take you seriously because of the predicament that you put me in. Even when I was in high school, I was I was, I was that type of person. <laughs> even when I was in high school, I was that type of person. Baby, that don't make no sense, baby. Her room was stinky. That carpet was dirty. Uh, her, them sheets were stinky. It was just too much. It was too much for me. It was too. So yeah, that is my story time on one of whatever. That room was nasty. This so this is my story time of when I was in high school and this girl invited me over and didn't even didn't even didn't even try to clean up the room. Didn't even try to put two and two together and make four. Had me thinking, <laughs> baby. She had me mess up thinking I was going to lay up in that bed with her, with them dirty ass sheets smelling like that. You got me fucked up.
But yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys like this story time. I hope you guys subscribe, like, share, thumbs this video up, share this friend with a friend, another friend, another friend, another friend, and a mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousin. I don't care, just share. And come on back next week for another video. Bye, you guys.